Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today I'm working on my rockers as I'm continuing with my engine build. Uh, so today I'm doing uh, what's typically called the rocker trunnion upgrade. Um, so I'm using a kit uh, from Straub Technologies. Uh, Comp Cams makes a, a kit as well that doesn't get quite as favorable uh, reviews and the, and the design is a little different. So today I'm going to be talking about the one uh, from Straub. So just to give you a little background, so we have the factory rocker here. Uh, here's one that I've completed the upgrade on. <clears throat> so the concern with the factory rocker, so on the sides here, so you've got the trunnion that's in the middle, and then on each side you've got these bearings. So these bearings are a two-piece design. Let's see if I can get this apart without it falling apart. So essentially you have uh, an inner race, and an outer race, which is the, the part that you see here. The concern is that if over time, through high RPM usage and that sort of thing, uh, this outer race starts to work itself out of the uh, rocker arm body, what happens is these tiny needle bearings that are on the inside uh, can work themselves out. And then these guys can end up uh, deep inside your motor and so that's obviously uh, a big problem so the solution as it comes from Straub Technologies uh, is this solid bushing on either side so obviously no bearings uh, to come loose uh, or fall apart inside your motor so I'll walk you through the steps but essentially uh, I'm going to use an arbor press uh, you could use a uh, a vise. Uh, you could also use a um, hydraulic shop press that you, ha you have to be careful with those so that you don't apply too much pressure. Uh, but bottom line, <clears throat> we're going to press out uh, the factory trunnion with the, the bearings on, on either side. And then we'll clean up the rocker arm uh, really well. And then once we have the bare arm, uh, we'll press in a bushing on one side. Then we'll drop in the trunnion that they provide and I'll just point out a, a couple of details here you can see it's uh, machined with grooves that allows oil to get on to the inside um, inner surface of this bushing so as the motors running that will stay properly lubricated um, so we'll press in a bushing on one side then we'll drop this in and then we'll press in the bushing on the other side and that effectively uh, locks it in place and then to make sure they don't work themselves out there are snap rings that go on either side uh, to keep this assembly from uh, coming apart the other thing I'll point out as you're planning the project just to make sure you have all the proper tools these are very tiny uh, snap rings so I don't know if you can see the, the eyelets in there so when you buy a pair of snap rings or if you want to make sure that yours are going to work, make sure you have a really uh, fine point uh, on your snap rings. So my snap rings have adjustable tips so you can back out this little Allen head and then these pull out. Uh, <clears throat> so mine was a kit and came with these really fine point uh, tips in there. I had to swap out the the normal larger ones, obviously these wouldn't hold a lot of uh, pressure if you were working on a, a larger snap ring. So anyway, just make sure that as you're planning the project uh, that you got what you need. Otherwise, uh, that's going to be a real setback. So that's the basics of how to do this um, or what comes in the, in the kit and an overview of what we're going to do. Um, so I'll give you a quick demo of how I'm uh, pressing out the factory bushings and then pressing in uh, the Strom Technologies kit. Okay, like I said, I'm using an Arbor Press. Um, there are some other setups that you can use. I won't go into that. <clears throat> so we need to press this bearing out. And we're going to press it through the body. Um, there we go. So I'm using a 15 sixteenths uh, socket. And then if you notice, there's a difference between uh, this side of the rocker arm and this side. This side has the two uh, flats on it. That gives us a little bit more support. So I'm going to center that over this socket 
and the reason I'm using this socket is the throat is large enough that when we press this uh, bearing out, uh, we have room for it to, to fall down into the socket. And then I'm going to use a, uh, this is a half inch socket up top. It's not critical, you just have to make sure it's smaller than the outside of the uh, opening there in the rocker arm. Okay. Take a second, make sure we got everything lined up properly. And uh, you can't see it on camera, but I've got an ex uh, extension on the lever arm of the uh, arbor press and gives me a little bit more leverage, a little more control. There we go, so we press it out. So there we go. So on this side, a little cap that comes out. And then you can see all the little needle bearings in there. And then we can dump this out. There we go. All right, uh, we'll pause for a second. I'll set this up so that we can uh, press in um, the new bushings. But before I do that, um, this has obviously been in the motor for 60, 70,000 miles. Uh, so I'm going to take this over to uh, my parts washer. If you haven't uh, watched my, my video on the parts, parts washer tank, um, I highly recommend it. That's been a uh, welcome addition uh, to my garage. So we'll get this cleaned up properly. Uh, and then we'll be ready uh, to press in our new bushings. Okay, uh, so we're back from the parts washer. Got the rocker arm all cleaned up. Uh, make sure you wipe out this bearing surface uh, with a lint-free rag. Make sure there are no no debris in there. <clears throat> so I've rotated this around uh, to one of the openings in the arbor press base. And then we're going to use a washer, a fairly thick washer, I should add, uh, on the bottom. <clears throat> and you have to make sure the opening in the washer is large enough that this trunnion will will fit through it because <clears throat> we'll, we'll need some space so here's our first step we'll line this up we're going to push in press in the bearing on this top side first you can use a little bit of motor oil or a little bit of assembly lube Make sure this goes in nice and smoothly. I'm going to use a washer on the top just to make sure we disperse the load properly. This doesn't take much pressure. There we go. And we've pressed in uh, this side of the bearing. <clears throat> Be sure to wipe off. Sometimes there creates some uh, shavings. 
Obviously, as this bearing is press fit into the rocker body, uh, this is a cast piece, so it's not exactly perfect in there. Uh, so be sure to wipe off any shavings that may come off. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's a, a fair amount that uh, can come off there. And you certainly don't want those floating around your rocker arms and through your oiling system. Okay, so now we're going to install the uh, the trunnion. <clears throat> Again, you want to make sure this is properly lubricated. Uh, you can dip it in motor oil, or you could use assembly lube, um, or I believe uh, straw may include with some of their kits um, a lubricant is essentially a, a, an assembly lube yeah, good messy drop this through then like I said make sure since you see now this is going to extend through so this is where that um, washer and making sure the opening is large enough comes into play so make sure that sits through properly and <clears throat> do the same thing on this one a little bit of lubricant Inside and out. And again, we're going to press this in with the washer. And then you need to make sure the opening in this washer also is large enough to go around uh, that trunnion in the middle because we don't want to hit that as we, we press down. go good lined up and that easy it presses in. then you can double check that this surface make sure it's flush pressed in uh, flush again make sure there aren't any uh, shavings or anything like that that might get in the way and now we're ready to install uh, our two snap rings Okay, and then, <clears throat> like we said, the last step is to install the snap rings on either side. This part's pretty straightforward. Then double check, make sure it fits down into that groove in the trunnion. Then do the other side. And there you have it, a fully assembled uh, rock arm with the Strop Technologies uh, Trunnion upgrade. This should prove to last a, uh, a very long time and be a nice upgrade so that we don't have any problems with uh, damage from all these little uh, needle bearings getting scattered throughout our engine. That's uh, no bueno. So hopefully you found this uh, helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post uh, in the comment section. I'll help as I can. Uh, and as always, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me keep making videos, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for tuning in.